you guys. Thanks. Hi, everybody. We are Team Turkey. My name is Dominic Gale. This is William Rosado. Our team leader, Francisco Mangares, isn't here. We will be speaking about water current turbines. Basically, our project is to harness the power of the ocean. And it's pretty similar to how wind turbines work, except the difference is the working fluid is going to be water. So basically, our problem statement is we're going to design and test a diffuser for an ocean current turbine to maximize power generation. Ocean current turbines, similar to wind turbines, as I stated, harness the kinetic energy of the ocean to create electricity. And compared to other sources of energy at the moment, as you can see, marine current turbines have all these faculties, which compared to others, it's basically, it's, it's a good source. And as stated here, they are predictable, and as such, predictability is essential in when it's going to be connected to the grid. So in our design process, we basically wanted to think about how we could make it more efficient, and efficient and jet maximize power. And we came up with the idea of using a diffu diffuser, what is basically called a diffuser augmented with water turbine. And basically what this does is it creates a pressure drop across the turbine, which as a result induces greater flow through the turbine. And William will, okay. Uh, yes, good afternoon. Um, in this case, um, we are working on this design where we give uh, um, three uh, things on the on the on the outside of the cover, which we allow the the cover to rotate on the on the vibration of the of the current in case that is change. On the top of the of the cover, it will be like a, a accessory in order to allow to rotate in the arm. We don't we don't have on the on the presentation the whole. The whole uh, system that is going to support both, because we're going to have two top turbines on the same system, and the 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 vents that we have um, around the around the cover, we allow to, to to bring more water inside of the of the area of the turbine, and also with um, um, in this case we're going to be able to bring both turbines outside of the water and remove only the the, the blades, so we don't need to take the whole covers to the. Uh, for to do any maintenance. Okay, um, regarding the global impact, um, it is necessary to take into account that this type of technology will reduce um, like carbon emissions or other contaminants to the atmosphere. Um, we have to the future you know, technologies to, to improve um, this type of system. <coughs> Sorry. And we have also to reduce the dependency that we have been creating to the fuel, um, uh, fuel uh, fossil fuels in the in the area. Okay. Have any questions? Yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like a, uh, yeah. What's the depth of operation of this device? We're going to be aiming for between one to two meters. Because based on based on studies we've research we've done, we, because this also because we're missing our routine we're going to kind of throw it out, but we aim to we're aiming to launch a project in the Gulf of Mexico and maximum current is between one and two meters that in our that's what our research will be. Okay. Uh, could you go back to the ocean current turbine slide? This one? No. It's a, it's a table there. Uh, where do you get all that information from? Yeah, in our research paper, we, well, we don't have the yeah, reference. You need to put the citation. Oh, okay, no, on, on, the 20, on the report, we put it. So we yeah, have to put it on the, the slide, slide, on the slide the as well? Yeah. Yeah, all, because that's plagiarism. Okay. Oh, so that's yes. your idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, what about the timeline, budget, and division of labor? We were speaking outside about that, that, that we had on the report and we didn't put it on the phone, but okay. it's going to be added to the But see, that you have a lot of time, spare time there, and put yeah. it in. Even if you don't spend time on it during the presentation, have it handy. Yeah, yeah definitely we're going to add it to the presentation. Okay. 
Um, from a technical standpoint, uh, I don't have any questions. I mean, uh, you, will you go back to your proposed design? Yeah, yeah. The previous one. This, no, this yeah. is just... Did you create this figure? No, 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 oh, no. Do you have any technical drawing to put there? We so have... You, are say, you say proposed design and you need to put your design there. Oh, this, this is our design. This is what we made this Oh, you made this yeah. these two. Okay. We, we have the, the whole system and this uh, turbine is attached to the system. But definitely we're going to try to put it on the, on the slide that says okay. proposed design. Yes, yes. Okay. It will matter. Because that's not your proposed yes. design. Yes, yes. yes. No, no, this is just... Uh, like a transition period. This one is what we made in solid okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What kind of motors are you planning on using for the? Uh, no, we are not using any motor. We're trying to. That's why we're using the fins to. The fins will, in the case that the current does alter, the fins will. It's going to the entire housing system will be on a rotating kind of bearing so that when if the current does shift, it'll actually. Oh, we're not going to be going into the actual <coughs> generation of power. We're going to be calculating the equation is not here, but power is calculated using the torque times the angular velocity, and we're going to be in the lab upstairs measuring the torque, and then based on that, we theoretically see what power will be produced. We're not going to be actually making any electrical components. Yeah, let's say something about that in your, in your presentation. Your, and and another, you, you need to be predictive. Yeah, so questions. Yes. Another thing that I would kind of suggest being careful on is the slide that Dr. Carnegie had mentioned with the uh, that one there. On the uh, low capital cost and um, that section, it's kind of questionable because the types of motors that you would have to use underwater would have to be brushless motors or a very large brush motor. And you have to waterproof them to some extent, and the waterproofing and a source shape, uh, costs, costs also it costs a significant well, amount of money, and also yeah. it adds an operational expense because if you're using like a sealed brush motor, they're usually housed in oil, and you have to change the oil every so often. So I would kind of say you're on the side of caution for that check mark being there. Yeah, but um, the thing is, for our proposed design or what we are going, if we do, if we were to go ahead and venture into electrical components or electrical side, the actual generators wouldn't be underwater. It would be connected to a, a platform which would house the generators and the shaft would be in water, under the water, so the electrical components would not be so interacting with the water. Drive outputting to surface. Yeah. Right. yeah, because well, as, as you said, we started about that would just add more on the, and more. Oh, sorry. On the design, the, the, the preliminary design that we did on SolidWorks, we have like a tower that goes outside of the water with a, you know, a room for the you know, electrical component that is going to be used on the system. Well, how would that impact the efficiency then? It would impact. We, we plan on doing You're going to quantify that or predict that. Yeah. Yeah. And, As you said, yeah, it's good. And also for a, like a protective shield that is going to go in front of the turbine, we're still analyzing that because we don't want to affect too much the, 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 the flow that is going inside of the turbine. Well, you better have a slide that speaks to that, that uh, these are some of the things that you're going to be looking at uh, in order to predict the energy output yeah. Yeah, and, and the efficiency. Even if it's not quantitative, uh, address it in a qualitative manner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, that's it. I have to tell you something. Can you put these two pictures a little lower? I mean, this one? Yeah, you cannot see the second one completely. So, yes, can you make it in the center? Oh, all right. Yeah. On the right. Yeah. Or, or take some of that color yeah. at the bottom up. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm.